Okay, fire away. Mike, you, uh, you said it earlier today that this game for you was going to be less about X's and O's and more about attitude. I'm just curious what your thoughts were on the attitude of guys today. Well, uh, I think that there are certain points where uh, it was really good. I mean, you look at the fact that we, we got down or one and then uh, the guys responded, we battled back, we were trying to battle back. Um, obviously we shot ourselves in the foot a number of times today. Uh, I, you know, it, it's a thing that's tough to feel from uh, obviously watching that game, uh, but when you're on the bench, I know that the guys really cared. Um, and unfortunately, I think that just uh, focus wise, that led to some situations where we were good, and we were doing the right things, and it led to some others where, obviously, uh, whether it's taking some penalties, uh, you, you know, you're trying so hard that you're kind of digging yourself into a deep hole. Uh, so I thought you could see that a little bit tonight. So I think the big thing for me <clears throat> is uh, obviously uh, really wanted to win the game, but I also didn't think that we were just going to come here and snap our fingers and everything was going to be great and great for us. Uh, so you know. It, after the game, basically my message to the players is, uh, you know, this this is a, a period where we have to go to work and go to school. Uh, there was a lot of examples of, uh, of the things that, that we want to do and the way that we want to play. And, uh, and we can show how that leads to success. And, uh, and you know, the teaching part is that's what's going to be important right now um, in order to get the consistency of our game. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously being team that's hard to play against, not just one shift here, one shift there, but shift after shift, line after line. What was the uh, thought process to get Lindblom up with Katori? Was it to get, to get him with guys you've had some success with before and how nice was it? Yeah, to get well, I mean, obviously, uh, Oscar's been struggling a little bit. And, and uh, you know, last year it was physical. This year I think it's been more mental. And, uh, you know, when I met with Oscar a little bit today, uh, you know, so I, I don't know where it's going to go, but uh, but let's give you this opportunity. And and what we need from you is to be that guy. He, you know, two years ago when when he was having success before he dealt with what he had to deal with, he was a guy that everybody wanted to play with because he played the game the right way. He managed the puck. Uh, you know, he was strong on the puck. He didn't throw it away needlessly. Uh, he was strong in position. Uh, you know, he did all the little things. And so that's what I asked him to do. And I, I got to tell you, like I know it sucks that we lost this game tonight, but I'm so happy that he scored that goal. And uh, and again, there were some things that we're going to point to. Listen, we got to pick each other up, we got to support each other, uh, and we got to learn and build. And uh, for me, that was a real positive tonight. Did you sense uh, Claude Drew playing a little angry tonight? Yeah, well, I, everybody is. Listen, the, the, this is a really emotional day, uh, and uh, and the emotions were really high. You can see that. You know, our our emotional levels would go super high, and then they go super low, and and, uh, and obviously it's uh, that's that's dangerous territory. This is a game of emotion. You have to play with, with emotion, and but at the same time, you you know you have to to keep it under control. Where you're not too high, you're not too low. You go out there, you focus on the next shift, and uh, and so again, that'll be something that we continue to work at. I think that you know having a rest day here. Uh, getting reset, refocused for the next uh, the day is going to be important for our group. Well, like a few days ago, uh, Evie said he thinks you're going to have to win games. If you have to win games 2 1 or 1 0 yeah. uh, because of scoring problems. Uh, was it a conscious effort to try to open things up tonight, or did it just end up that way? Well, I mean, I, like, obviously, you look at the goals that, that, uh, that they score. We can't put a team like that, that dangerous firepower on the power play that many times, especially, you know, having a couple of the power, or key penalty killers out with. Tom, or, you know, he's going to be out for obviously a long time. Joel's a key penalty killer for us, um, but uh, but that's a real dangerous unit. So um, it's not that we want to open up the game, but we want to be harder to play against. And I thought that there was times that that we did that, and again, obviously that uh, there wasn't enough of those. But um, but yeah, we want to be a team that attacks. There's no question. You know, when we have opportunity off the rush, if we have time and space, we got to make those plays off our entries. But um, you know, one of the things that I really liked about tonight was I thought we generated some more opportunities off of our forecheck um, and, uh, and in the offensive zone play. And 
that. And if we if we do that and continue to build that, then, then that's part of being a team that's hard to play against. When you spoke to the team before the game, did they give you feedback or ask questions? And did you give us a sense of the tone that that was like? I'm sorry, a sense of what? I said before the game, you spoke to them, and yep. they gave you feedback or questions. And yeah. What was that like? We didn't. We didn't. I mean, I mean like I, I had some very brief uh, individual conversations with players. Uh, didn't really have a lot of time to, to, to do that, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously, uh, we got to the rink, we had uh, a meeting, uh, started to meet with some individuals, but, uh, but you know, when you're on a game day, you've got to kind of allow them to have their game day routine. So uh, we respected that. Uh, obviously, over the course of this next week, we spent a lot of time together on the road. This would be a great opportunity for me to sit down with, uh, with more individuals. Um, and uh, and I, I think that's going to be really important. Uh, you know, making sure that uh, that they've got a real good understanding of what we're looking for from them, because you know we, we have a team game that we want to play. You know, we have an idea that we want to play, but but we need individuals bring what they bring to the table. And so I think that uh, having those things clearly defined to the players, I think that that'll be useful for sure. One or two more. Mike, you had Ian back on the bench. Do you foresee him being with you guys on Wednesday? You know what? It was such a crazy day. We we. We obviously have a ton more things to figure out, uh, you know, whether it's uh, game day routines, whether it's, uh, you know, um, there's so many things. And, and obviously staff is going to be and how we how we operate, uh, you know, who's in charge of what. But we haven't had a chance to do that. We, we said, let's approach today. Obviously, we got to tonight, tomorrow now uh, to, uh, to, to start to have some of those discussions and see where we go from now. Have you seen a hints of another level to... Morgan Frost game compared to what you saw in camp? I think uh, we're starting to scratch the surface. He's still not quite confident. Um, you know, I think he, you know, it, it, it seems like if something good kind of happens in the game, then, then he follows it up with a couple of really good things. Uh, I don't think that he quite knows what his potential is yet, but you can see the skill level. And when he is feeling good, uh, you know, he, he is a guy that can really make plays. Uh, so I think that there's still parts of his game, obviously, that we're going to work with and try to grow. Uh, but uh, but some of the things that he's capable of doing out there uh, <coughs> certainly adds a lot to our group. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.